So talk about the upcoming project, the EL mod, which is uh, currently is a uh, version two because I have some new revision of the board. So I use. So I mentioned in the previous video about this uh, TI calculator that I have a secret project to put EL backlight. Why is not locking exposure? Let me do it a bit. To put EL backlight into this display the under the display and they have some uh, procedure way back in uh, 2004 I believe uh, one years after I was born I'm not sure but they have some people that done with a TI-85 calculator but I think TI-82 may be some similar things so you just tear this down maybe I'm gonna do on the next video for tearing this down and have some procedure to take the display out and peel off the uh, the, the reflective uh, some s substrate on the back side of the back side of the display and stick the EL lamp in. But before we doing that, let's take a look at the spec sheet or data sheet, whatever you want to call of the the uh, driver IC. So we have HV 823 made by Supertex aka uh, Microchip that made, you know, made ad maker very popular they put in the Uno uh, Uno U, Uno yeah, this correct spell so this is a driver I see, I'm not sure what is the first release date of this one but the EL technology I feel like is dropped and almost to be obsolete because it replaced if you use LCD you use LED backlight more efficient using a less current and voltage is safe to work and is very in uh, what I would call is can be integrated into some small thing I'm not sure it's maybe uh, it's a little tiny compared to the EL but the one reason that I use EL because I want to try this one I want to recall uh, my experience I want to go back to my childhood about many years ago when I was on grade 6 I got an EL lamp for my uncle he gave me two of these I lost one of them and one of them still uh, for this time is, is gone but I remember that I cut them and I connect to something I call uh, not only me but people call a relay oscillator this, this like this one one of the side I connect to the 9 volt battery and another side I connect to the EL lamp which is this one here for exam uh, for, for for demonstration that I will show you and it's just there's some a principle similar to a uh, boost converter so you have an inductor, you have a switch, so you, you can google up online right now, you can do it, search on google for the boost converter, a simple boost converter. Okay, back to our subject, we have a driver IC, which is very good with, you have a 2 to 9.5 operating uh, supply voltage, and it's, it's actually a DC to AC converter, and we have 108. 180 volt P to P typical output voltage. This is not important things, but yeah, this is not important things. And you just skip to here. This is a SOIC, uh, eight lay SOIC, eight pin SOIC, whatever you want to call. Let's go through here. We have some test circuit application example. Uh, we have some of uh, another there. You can enable disable stuff and external components. So let's take a look at external component. I just want to crank down the exposure for a bit guys. Let's go up for a bit. Okay exposure. I hope you can see it clearly. So we have a diode and we have a capacitor, some two of the resistor, we have another capacitor inductor as and finally the EL lamp itself so let's take a look 
real quick before doing that this is a design stuff so just some of the packaging uh, package outline so let's go to the real part of this video before we build that you need to design a circuit you have an idea and you build a schematic and you design the board so the idea I already did but behind the scene is not on this camera but here I have a schematic the reason that I'm not showing on the computer is because I lazy to boot it up so this take a long time to boot for my desktop PC because I use a Linux with a uh, server PC and server PC take a very long time to boot just ignore that so let's go here let's zoom in a bit here we go so we have a circuit very simple you need uh, two resistor SMD 0603 um, I forgot to put the value stop but I'm gonna make a stationary image here so I can label stuff using a magic video edition. Editing, edit, edit whatever. So here we have inductor six, uh, 560 microhenry. We have diode of, of 1N, 1N4148. We have a 100 volt 10 nanofarad capacitor. We have 1 nanofarad 16 volt capacitor. And just that and the IC itself. So I label here by Dinlet Hex because I take a time to uh, design this device. I mean, I'm thinking a lot how to make this because I'm choosing between the HV857 and other HV850 which is very rare to find on interweb because there's no inductor needed. So let's move to the board. This is the real size of the board. So this is about 2.5 by almost one, uh, almost this. It's a 2.5 by I believe to be 1.0.6 uh, millimeter board. It's pretty small compared to my index finger, compared to my thumbs, compared to the Arduino Uno R3. Uh, pretty small. So let's zoom in a bit. Okay. Maybe you can spot more uh, design failure, but I spot two of them. But before that, let's take a look here. So we have a VCC and ground input here. Just go through the circuit, and the output is on this side. So first mistake is I ordered the wrong size uh, capacitor, wrong side. I supposed to use. 0603 of the component is 0603 the resistor the capacitor two of these is 0603 always our frame but I ordered the 0804 I believe or 8 or something I, I'm not really remember that package but it's a bit bigger it's, it's just like the step of 0603 and the one the larger so this is the first mistake. And next mistake is I use through hole component. It's not it's for some of you might not think that this is a mistake, but I think that this is a mistake in first place because you know everything is neat tidy with the SMD and suddenly you see some of the bump up which is the height of the capacitor which is a through hole component. I just have some new idea like I just bending the pin uh, 90 degrees put down and it's gonna sit on the ship or somewhere or maybe I'm gonna put under the board so it can flush with the board because I, I, I have some space left maybe let's take, take a look at that later when every component arrives and I tear this down so on this side I'm not sure that the clearance is good, but from the eye inspecting from the printing, 
to a most actual size. It's okay for high voltage. I eventually uh, calculate the gaps. Um, you know, you spark gaps across the air. You have some like, calculation. I use online calculator. As it turned out, out that the voltage is too low for this. The um, so if like you have a thousand a kilo, one kilowatt for some reason, you you can calculate how close a minimum how close that uh, two of the lead or two of the metal to make spark jump across it. In this case, this voltage output I believe to be between uh, 75 to 110 volt, and this is pretty low compared to a kilowatt. Is maybe that kilowatt is a uh, ten times more this one, but. Here on the board, I have some of this dash line here, so going through a rectangular around this region of the board, and I have some label danger high voltage. First, first look at it. I feel oh, I need to put the label on this seriously close to this part because here we we have a high voltage output. But then I realized that my board is very small. When designing, you can zoom in and zoom out. But in the final product, is this one. It's not this biggie. It's this one. And the text is pretty small. Almost small as you can't read. And the silk screen cannot print this out. And I already ordered the board and they ship, ship them uh, a couple days ago and maybe arrive on next month then maybe my video gonna be out next month so this video just only talking about this one is not digging deep into the spec of this thing because I already follow the designing guide so okay thank you for watching this video I hope you like it and please please I Please, a big, big, please follow me, subscribe, click on the bell button, and read my next video. That, yeah, the EL mod for this one because very exciting to do some tear down the third time of this one. To tear this down, gonna clean up the glass, uh, clean up the thing, and to be honest. I'm pretty confident that this will work because yeah, I got I've got the ELM which is come with a defective part here, and I got the replacement one still on the way coming. So thank you, you guys, for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye. See you soon.